everybody eager to get off to a good start. Yeah, and it's obvious, Peter, you don't want to be playing catch-up after the opening group game. So we can expect this to be highly competitive. Three points here and the feel-good factor of eventual progression kicks in. It's a, a great foundation to tackle the rest of the, uh, the group games. Which player is best equipped for this game? Well, Brazil have produced some of the best centre-halves around, and I think Militao is, is up there in that lineage, Peter. He's very quick and aggressive, and while he does have the odd mistake in him, or certainly did in, in his earlier career, he's maturing fast and he's easing that out of his game, and he can go all the way to the very top. Now, yeah, I'm inclined to agree. is played back to front Danilo Rafinha here's Bruno Guimaraes uh, looks a foul yep, referee's given it Costa Rica playing here with a nice expansive style yeah, with their fullbacks making up the numbers in attack too, just need to make sure the back line doesn't become too stretched and face with too much ground to cover. Douglas Luis. Played towards the other side. Wendell. Rodrigo. Rafinha! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Rafinha really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Well, that was well positioned and, and well pinched. They can't hurt with their backs to go. Shifted upfield. Rafinha, look at shapes to shoot! Rodrigo bears the hit! It's loose, and there's a race for the ball. That's going to go a long way. And it's been taken straight back. Wendell. Getting on for a third of the way through the game. So a third of the match, or thereabouts, gone, and we still await the first goal. Danilo with the cross. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. And it's played forward. And that's the end of that, it all started well enough. And the whistle goes for half-time. And it has been a half largely of could haves and should haves. Perhaps the more impatient amongst the supporters will feel their overture goal. But it's certainly not for the want of trying, so nothing to show as yet. At the break, it's nil-nil. Let's -nil. <laughs> back on the first 45 minutes. Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. And we are already promptly back on the way. Brazil clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Bruno Guimaraes. Stood up well to him there. Thinks one through. Oh, that's well spotted. Rodrigo. Now the counter. Well, he had a really good run at goal there, but the defence just weren't going to let him past. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that.
Vinicius Junior. Out to the right. And that is out and behind. It's a good block. Knocks it away. And now a sudden chance to counter. Plays it from a quarterback position. Douglas Luis. Wendell. Rodrigo. He's a sharp little ball here. Wendell looking to run onto it. has been well intercepted Rickles his way through Danilo proves just a little bit too strong concentration levels are very good and so is the commitment this game could yet yield a winner well, there is some activity Cross from Rafinha. Well, from experience, I can tell you, he'll get a lot of stick for getting that one wrong. Turns back here, probably the best option. Strawberry, it is still goalless here. This was supposed to be a one-sided game. Into the last five minutes. Rafinha. And it's Danilo. Rafinha. Has a goal! Well, the finish certainly didn't match the build-up. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. They've played it short, and it's Danilo. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. And it's come back to the keeper. And that is that.